Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I wasn't really going to sit down and do a video on this Perspex box here. Um, I was just going to say, hey guys, look, I've banged up a Perspex box together. Um, it's two foot be three foot be two foot. And um, I used a silicon gun and uh, just gl Gorilla glued the outside. Um, but I'm just kind of letting this dry and stuff on one side before I, um, you know do the next bit and the other side and the bottom and uh, I just thought I'd just stop to show you what I'm doing so this is going to be my chamber for grinding the bricks up in slices and the idea is to capture all the dust and to you know expel most of it through the bottom through the bottom of the channel in the shed um, using the water and um, what I've done is I've took um, an 8 foot by 4 foot sheet of perspex four millimeter thick and um i've chopped it down the side panels are three foot by two foot so there's one there there's one on the floor uh, there's one on the other side and instead of putting one on the top what i've done is i've used a two by two panel on the top this one here and i'm going to put little hinges on the edges of that one and make a little uh one foot by two foot cover so it can close so that way I've got an entire you know sealed unit and inside the uh, cover or just underneath the cover probably on the side here I'm going to cut a hole and I'm going to put a laboratory long gauntlet rubber glove in there so I could put my hand in and grab the handle of the grinder to pull it backwards um, there's going to be a cut down here on this side here, which is where I'm going to be slotting bricks in, I think. I'll either take that method or I might try using the top method where I flick it up and put a brick down into the grinder stand to cut and move things aside. I'm not sure yet. I've got both flexibility and options for that one. may try to use the glove from the side here and then use the other arm to lift it up and move the bricks. That way I could keep a nice sealed watertight at the bottom up to you know pretty much half the way this looks good this box but it's flexy as hell because it's perspex and there's no battens on it so what I'm doing is inside I've used the silicon <clears throat> um, I've used the silicon uh, sealant which is what you use for baths and things uh, it's really cheap it's about a pound and you just put it in the pumpy gun and pump it out and I've done my best as I don't really do it much of getting a nice grout fixed to connect the two perspex sheets together. And I've gone all the way around the bottom, the sides, and then on the top here. And what I've just started doing now, which I'm going to do for the entire sides as well, is I've just put Gorilla Glue on. You can just see the thin line of Gorilla Glue going straight down. And I've done it there, and I've just run across here. And I've just done the back down the side of the back there as well. I'm going to go around the rest, but I'm doing it in stages. And the silicon is very good for the water, um, the water proofing. But the Gorilla Glue is giving the actual box a bit of stability. It's kind of acting a bit like what the battens would be uh, doing if the battens were in there. But I've, I wanted to keep the battens out because when I put LED lighting in there. It should really give me a see-through image of what's going on inside so I can, you know, see all the time what's going on. Uh, LEDs, 12 volt LEDs will be dotted about in there to light the entire thing up underneath the shelf uh, in the shed. Um, and it should work quite nice to capture all the dust. Um, so, yeah, I'll finish Gorilla Glue in this and just show it you when it's uh, dried and everything to see how strong it is. Hey guys, so it's all been put together, um, it's got three LED strips on the top, uh, an LED strip on the right hand side, one at the front facing back to face directly on the grinder, and one on this side as well. Um, I didn't put any on the back wall because I didn't want the light spitting at me in the eye, I wanted it all focused on uh, inside the box through the dust and also the grinder. Um, all 12 volt strips, uh, 12 volt strip, 12 LEDs a strip, 74 LEDs in total should get through the gloom of the dust and stuff. Um, all the wires coming out the back, 
I'm going to find positives and negatives, and as they're running in parallel, clump the positives together, plunk, clump the negatives together, and then this amazing adapter which screams health and safety. Just have a read of what that says. Does it fill you with like, oh, your safety needs have been met? Let me just get... Beware of Rosk. Rosk is your god now. Rosk of Electric. So, yeah, I'm going to hook it all up to that and then chat, jam it in if I dare to the wall and see if it doesn't fry me. So, um, thanks for watching. See you later. Do you want to sound off, boss? Spado? Sound off? Is that right? <laughs> Tell him, kidder. See you in a bit.